Over at the Iowa State House, dozens of people gathered to advocate for reproductive rights. It was a rally for Planned Parenthood Lobby Day. The public heard from lawmakers and Planned Parenthood about their role in the fight for reproductive freedom. One Iowa student who is in medical school says some of these laws might move her out of the state when she graduates. It's definitely something that's been on my mind. It's made me decide between different states that have different laws in place. Luckily, abortion is protected right now in Iowa, but I know that the Supreme Court is going to be making their, or they're going to be starting their hearings on April 11th. The Iowa Supreme Court's case on the injunction on the fetal heartbeat bill is set to take place this year. Advocates made their voices heard on safe and legal abortion, expanding postpartum Medicaid coverage and allowing over-the-counter birth control. The Iowa Senate already passed the bill that would make birth control available without a prescription. Today, Governor Kim Reynolds provided an update on that measure. And we're having that similar conversation uh, with House members to figure out what that looks like, Kay, to get it across the finish line. So it's just, you know, it's like everything else. It comes down to uh, some type of maybe compromise language that everybody feels comfortable with. My goal is to get it across the finish line. And so uh, we're going to continue to sit down with lawmakers and find what that compromise uh, looks like. Currently, the bill for over-the-counter birth control pills sits in the Iowa House.